This video is proudly sponsored by New Type. Tools, accessories, model kits, these guys have it. Hop over to NewTypesHQ.com and use promo code UTAKABUTTER for 10% off on your next purchase. Hey, what's going on dudes and dudettes, and welcome back to another exciting build from the good folks from Bendai Japan. So why don't we get started with the Super Defender, Cross Silhouette, the King of the Braves, Go Guy Gur. And without further ado, my dudes and dudettes, let's get to it. Welcome back, my dudes and dudes, to another unique build from the Super Defender Cross Silhouette series. Now, building two perfect rates back-to-back -back can be a bit stressful, so I figured it was about time to take a step back and focus on something that is not only adorable, but at the same time, extremely fun to build. And thus, I'll be tackling the hype mech itself, Go Guy Ganger, which for short, I'm just going to call him GGG. Now, on the first side of the box art, you get a good understanding on what you could truly expect from this unique model kit, everything down to really unique panel lining, and at the same time, a really broad spectrum of weapon accessories. Now, these accessories may not be something you would expect from a standard SD kit, but at the same time, they show what this mech's all about, and that is personality. Everything down to the classic Final Fusion, Diving Drive, Protective Shield, and the ever so popular Heaven or Hell. And I absolutely love that little accessory, it just looks like a very small little Phillips head screwdriver. Now, enough about that, what's inside the box? As always, you are happily greeted with the instruction manual, once again giving you two understandings on what variation mode you can put this mobile suit, oh, I'm sorry, mecha in. And that is the classic SD form, or the new and improved, CS frame. Now the CS frame, I would highly recommend you go with that route because you can actually pull off some pretty good dynamic poses with this unique mech. Now, as for the first runners, we're going to get the classic blue and white pieces, which aren't a lot, but it will get the job done, followed by the main runners, which is going to be consisting the CS frame. Now, if custom painting isn't your thing and you just want to do a straight up build, these sticker decals will actually get the job done beautifully. The only distracting thing is the actual side windows for the bullet train itself, so do your due diligence and just fill those areas in with a Gundam marker or Tamiya panel lighting black. As for the following runners, you can get pre-posed um, forming hands for the special moves as well as three clear pieces. I'm not going to illuminate the jewel for the head because it will be a bit too distracting, but I am going to illuminate the eyes for the line as well as the eyes for Go God Ganger or GGG. Following runners are the classic yellows and, a shocking enough, a very small and very adorable looking stealth bomber for another weapon accessories. Other than that, this kit looks absolutely adorable and I'm actually super excited to get started building. As always, before I get started doing any kind of custom painting, I need to make sure that I can actually illuminate the eyes the way I want it. And with these new cross silhouette kits, they usually have like a mask that goes in front of the eyes themselves, but this one doesn't have it, which is not a big problem. So what I'm going to end up doing is using some Tomiya masking tape to cover the eyes and then superimpose them with a Q-tip or a back end of a pencil or pen. And then once I get the eyes superimposed, then I'm going to be cutting them out with an X-Acto blade so that way I can hit the back of the eyes with a flat Tomiya black. And I hope I do it right correctly, but if I don't, I can just hit it up again with another application with a fine tip brush. Thank you. 
dudes and do this as this video is wrapping up I want to share with you guys my thoughts and impressions about this market so first and foremost I'm just gonna get out of the way this kit was an absolute blast to build and I'll say it again building two perfect rates back to back within the span of two to three weeks can be a bit a bit stressful but taking a step back and building something small while at the same time requires less of a headache and enjoying something simple was really refreshing and I absolutely love this kit. But with that frustration came color inconsistency. And what I mean by that is, when you watch the anime, there are obviously two different types of gold for the Go Gigander mech. For example, the V-Fin itself, it's actually a metallic orange, whereas the Lion's face itself is more of like a flat metallic yellow. And that's, it's a small little detail, but I, I really wish the instruction manual kind of emphasized on that, which is not a problem, but if you want to do a little bit more authenticity while at the same time make it look as close as the anime um, source material, then, you know, do your due diligence and make sure you do the proper research. Other than that, this kit was super, super fun to build. If you get it from day one, you can get this guy knocked out in less than a day. And if you do custom painting, two days tops. But of course, for me, I wanted to stretch it out and just enjoy little by little as I really was trying to be really immersed in the anime. Again, I spent two days watching it. Very, very campy, very corny. Obviously, the target audience is little kids. Um, looking at it literally 20 years later, which I think it, the anime came out back in 1997, it was still enjoyable to watch. Granted, I had to watch the Japanese version, but it was still a decent show. And if I was... 12, 12 year old uh, Otaga Builder watching it then, sure, I would happily watch it. While at the same time, being an adult, I want a figurine or a model kit that really emphasized my childhood, and I truly do believe this model kit absolutely delivers. Now, if I would actually knock off maybe one point from this model kit, I really, really wish it came with like a very simple and affordable action base. You know, much like what you would see with the Master Grade uh, Freedom 2.0 and the proto wing gundam you know they have simple action bases that came with the kit but i, I think the reason why they didn't do it because not many people really care about doing dynamic poses with these small little kits they just want to plop it on the shelf and then leave it there me personally i like to add a little bit more depth and feel to it when i buy these little figurines so if you're looking for something on the market that can actually help fulfill that desire pick up the kotobukiya action base and you will not be disappointed i think it's going for like 15 and maybe 20 bucks but look at respected sellers that will give it to you at a reasonable price and like that my dudes and dudes we have reached the end of this video a huge shout out for the new subscribers and a big thank you for you guys liking this video and sharing it and as always i will see you dudes and dudettes on the next video. Later.